Hi, hi, hi. Today is Sunday, the 15th of November 2020, and the time is coming up to 10 o'clock at night, about 2 minutes to 10, uh, 21.58 or so hours. And uh, I'm about to have a late um, dinner. It's a soup that I've made. It's um, it's actually quite late for me to have dinner. I normally try to have dinner before nightfall, but I slept most of today because I have a star in my left eye and I think my body needed the rest to repair itself. So what I've done is um, I've... Um, well, I'll go into the soup a little later, but I'll tell you what I'm going to put in addition. I've got this thing called Tao Chu Halus. Okay, you don't need much. You need between a third to half a chamcha, one of these spoons. And uh, you don't cook the Tao Chu Halus. Uh, it's full of um, probiotics. It's fermented um, fine leafy uh, ground or blended soybeans so it's got all the probiotics in there which are good for your gut biota the other thing I'm going to put are um, fried shallots of course they call them fried onions you know fried long mirror I'll just sprinkle a little, little bit okay that should be enough Okay, so what I've done in this soup is first I've got a big soup pot and then I cut up one medium size um, purple onion, you know those Indian sheep onions. It was my last onion from um, Sergi Fresh. Uh, normally I use rose onions but rose onions seem to be out of season. I can't get them at Sergi Fresh anymore. So anyway, uh, one of those as well as half a head of garlic about four cloves so what I've done is I peeled the garlic and just smashed it with my uh, pestle lightly so that they're still in one piece but kind of cracked and then in the pot um, now this is a little tricky because I'm using an induction cooker and induction cookers uh, don't like to to work without a load so um, if you use a regular hob or a gas stove you could heat up your pot and then um, you can drop some water some droplets of water and if the droplets remain round and they kind of sizzle and dance about then it's hot enough but if you use an induction cooker you can't do that um, so I put my onions and garlic first and heat it up and then I put a few dashes of Chinese black vinegar instead of water. Now why I do that is because the reaction that relies uh, on the, that I'm, I'm um, hoping to achieve is called the Mayart reaction and the Mayart reaction works better in um, slightly acidic or slightly alkaline environment so the few dashes of chinese black vinegar is fine now if you get it to the right temperature and if you and you put a few drops of water then the onions won't burn and stick to the bottom of your pot and besides the black vinegar would also uh, help create some black stuff a uh, fine layer of black caramelization on my stainless steel pot but that's not a problem because it easily comes off during washing if you wash immediately okay don't let it dry and get stuck okay this is an oil free sauteing process there is a video by chef AJ about this in fact she has another video uh, how to caramelize onions uh, without oil as well so I'll put the links to both her videos um, in the description so that you can learn this very useful technique okay so once I've done that, I added the um, vegetables. Now the vegetables are, I've got two thirds of a courgette, a zucchini, which I've cubed. I've got one carrot, which I've diced. Um, actually the um, zucchini I diced as well. They're, they're like one, one and a half uh, centimeters cube. And um, the last of my purple cabbage, I had, you know, the last of it 
I, I was sleeping all day today, so I didn't go to Sigi Fresh. So I thought I might as well use up all my purple cabbage. Um, yeah, there are just those three items. Um, they were quite a lot. Sometimes when I do these things and um, I don't seem to have enough vegetables, I put frozen vegetables. So it's kind of useful to have a packet of um, frozen vegetables in your freezer for times like this. Okay, so after I feel the onions and garlic have been sautéed enough, I put in the vegetables and sauté them for a few minutes, okay? Um, it's a dry sauté without water, without oil, just to sort of wilt them. And then I put just enough water to cover the vegetables. And then I set it on a water mode, which on my induction cooker is about 20 minutes. So it brings it to the boil and, and uh, switches off automatically. I found that just now that it was a little too long. It actually dried out my soup and the volume was so little so I had to add boiling water so I would recommend to set the timer to um, about 10 minutes that's sufficient you know, all these vegetables can be eaten raw so you don't have to worry about cooking them in fact the longer you cook them the less nutritional value there is uh, but sometimes you're just sick and tired of eating steamed vegetables and you want a change so these soups are nice now the Great thing about this soup is it's um, it's a low calorie soup because vegetables have very little calorie. I've also put this black stuff when I added the water in. Um, this is um, actually konbu, also known as cutting seaweed. I don't know why they use that word cutting seaweed. You know, it's bad Japanese or bad Korean. Uh, it basically means cut seaweed. Okay, the the flat kelp. It's, it's, it's like, um, you know, it's very flat. Um, in fact, the sizes are quite big and I normally cut them into two. So these are, um, are cut up. So I let this boil and then when it's done, I put it in this bowl and like I did just now, like what I showed you. I put this Tauchu Halus. Now this is the equivalent, a very cheap equivalent. It's about the quarter of the price of uh, miso paste, okay? A jar of miso paste like this would cost um, easily uh, 25 to 32 ringgit if it's from Japan. Now this costs, um, doesn't have the price here, but it's something like 3 or 4 ringgit. Okay, and it's basically the same thing, fermented um, soybeans. And uh, I put this for the taste. Now if I have... Um, uh, scallion and uh, chives I'd add some but I've run out and like I said I was too you know too tired or too lazy to go to Siggy Fresh I basically I slept the whole day because of the sty in my eye which is feeling a lot better actually there's no more pressure or pain uh, but I had a look at it and, and there was uh, still a white uh, zit as it were um, in blocking the duct it's it's actually blocked sebum um, what would help is a hot shower if I have a hot shower and put my face up to the shower the heat would dilate the duct and uh, offer some relief because then the sebum that's backed up behind can flow through and uh, there's no more pressure and it feels so much better after that um, this is instead of doing a hot compress, I just thought a hot compress is so messy and inconvenient for me because you have to get all the stuff that so just sticking my head in the shower is so much easier. Okay, so that's my soup for today. Uh, a bit long-winded today, but I just feel like chatting and giving you these tips. And um, I hesitate to call this a fasting mimicking soup. Uh, because I'm not sure how many calories it is but basically it's a very low calorie oh I also got one potato I peeled a potato and diced it and put it in okay so maybe the potatoes have starch and slightly higher calories but if you look at the calorie uh, content of potatoes 100 grams of it is, is not much so uh, it's quite filling because of the, um, the fiber and the bulk and the water okay there's quite a lot of water there 
but it won't you won't put on weight because you'll piss out most of the water anyway and the vegetables give you enough substrate so that um, it will be okay when you go to the loo and you won't get constipated okay see you next time bye